Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm not sure if this is the beginning of a vlog. I'm a little confused, I'm gonna be honest with you. I have just been really backed up in terms of editing my videos, uploading my videos. Honestly, Napa did it to me. If you watch that video, you know that I said I wanted to show you every single little drop of Napa. And I genuinely did because for the first time ever, I took my DJI camera, put it wherever we were wine tasting, hit play, and I gave zero Fs. For the first time ever, I felt like empowered to vlog. Vineyards are having a hard time with their sales. A lot of people aren't drinking and younger generations aren't drinking wine. We went and I wanted to show everything and I just like took my camera out and so many people were like, yes, vlog, we love it. Like show the people. One woman, Paige, emailed me and and asked me for a bunch of recommendations. She said her and her husband are going to Napa and I feel like it's kind of my duty to share all of the information from Napa. But in this video, we are still gonna be drinking Napa wines. However, I am partnering with Naked Wines. It is a subscription-based company. I will tell you more about it tomorrow. I am so excited. I feel like for the last six months, I've really kind of just narrowed in on what it is that makes me happy. I know it's always like we talk about wines, we talk about travel, but there's always like a deeper meaning to everything. And I'm sorry if you're sick of me and my deeper meanings, but really enjoy spending time with you guys. I enjoy filming videos, editing videos, talking to my subscribers. Just focusing on the good has brought really exciting opportunities to me, such as Naked Wines. They reached out to me. It's basically a subscription wine company that curates a wine case for you. You get to choose how often you get the shipments. I haven't done my homework. I printed out the pamphlet. They sent me the wines. I'm so excited to try them. Mike is going to be my co-host for that segment of the vlog. I mean, he's the co-host in every vlog, but he's going to sit down with me. We're going to drink the rinds. The rinds. We're going to drink the wines. We're going to rate the wines. It's supposed to be a beautiful weekend. It is the weekend before Halloween, so I just feel like really exciting, happy things. I also got a shipment from Medicube, which is amazing because I am in the market for better skincare. I'm running out of skincare. The Sephora sale is coming. I've been really like torn as to what products I should buy, which products I shouldn't buy, which ones I should repurchase. Should I try new things? But Medicube reached out to me and we're going to try some of their products later on tonight when I'm getting ready for bed. I worked out. I did a 40 minute workout. I'm eating a yogurt, Greek yogurt with 14 grams of protein. Granola, a bit of honey, raspberries. I need to eat this, I need to get ready because I also need to film my October favorites, which what the hell, I can't believe October's over. I'm excited for this video, I'm excited to see what we get into. I know that Mike and I did a bit of fall festivities. Either we'll have put that before this, or maybe I'll put this after that so that we start the vlog with a proper, hey, hi, how you doing, hello. So yeah, let's do that. So let's pop back to last weekend and then we can meet back here after I have filmed my October favorites video. What are you saying here? It's dusty, it's musty, it's dry and crusty. We're gonna try another fall festivity. Uh, right. We try another, another one. fall activity in New Jersey. We're over. For how my many? My sneakers are already getting dusty. So I'm he unhappy. doesn't like the dusty. Oh, my sneakers are getting dusty too. Oh, yeah, so it's not just me. Dusty, musty. And crusty. and crusty. Hopefully this is lusty. And we forgot the mics in here. Oh, <laughs> we did. But that's okay, because, wow, it's very dusty here. I checked uh, the footage and we don't sound bad. Oh, good. So that's exciting. Good, good, good. I'm gonna have to wash my sneakers. We want to be outdoorsy, but I don't think we are. Don't get corn fused. <laughs> Don't get convicted. Oh my god. No picking or throwing. What is that? Wow. Oh, is this gonna be your Instagram picture? Maybe. It's very pretty. Is there a map? Spooky. You drop a pin. Is that cheating? All right, well, here we go. Best of luck. Not a cloud in the sky. That's the corn I told you to remember that's on the ground so that we know when we come back that we went the wrong way. Yay. Wow. It's like we're in California. Don't like that. No. They're not vineyard goats, that's for sure. 
but they're Jersey goats. I guess that's cool. <laughs> Frog in the llama. <gasps> oh my God, look, he's just like laid out there. Oh, he's up. Oh, this one wants to be on camera coily. He's cute. What are these? They're not. Dirty. Are they llamas? It's <laughs> not nice. What are these? Smelly. They are smelly. But, you know, they're animals. These are electric cows. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Is this, like, okay for them to be by these towers, though? Wow, look at him. He looks like he's gonna charge through the damn fence. Is that, like, attack mode? Like, that doesn't look... Oh, God. He's coming right for me. Oh, he looks mad. Oh, look at the peacock. Oh, they're fighting. Oh, that's not very nice. Hi. You're so pretty with your little hat. Hello. They're scary. Are they mad? Who are they mad at? I just got here. See what he keeps doing? Yeah, he's, he's like, like rattling. Yeah. <gasps> They're both doing it. Oh my god. Oh no, I'm scared. Oh god, I'm scared. <laughs> Gianna, if you're watching, like this could be you. This could be your chicken coop. Oh, you could wake up to that in the morning, but probably a lot louder than that. Look at his cute little nose. Hello. Hi. Oh wow, they're really cute. Scary. Oh, their eyes light up. That's cool. I'm into that. It's a duck. Like, what is that? Oh my god, look how little this one is. We're stranded now. We're not taking a pumpkin, right? What do you want to do? Be honest with us. Go watch football. Right, okay. All right. You don't want a get pumpkin. Something to eat. Are we going to get something to eat here? I mean, let's look for sure. But if not, maybe we should go see if there's a place we can go sit outside and eat and watch the games. I'm into that. Yeah. This is how it always ends, though. It always ends with us leaving and going somewhere else to eat. Okay, well, I mean, we make the best of it. I, mean, I had a nice oh, look, time. It's a squash. That's not nice because it's squashed. <laughs> Should we at least get like apple cider donuts or something? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that is like the perfect pumpkin. We're leaving with donuts. Yeah. <laughs> what a little Jersey farm day we've had today. This is so cute. If only every day could be like this. You're so soft. Oh, you're so warm from your bed. You going back to bed? Man, I wish I had your life, my guy. Come here. I thought you wanted attention. Now you don't. You're very admit messages. You get very mixed messages. Has anyone ever told you that? Do I smell like farm animals? Yeah, you don't like it. <laughs> Your tail is going all crazy. My issue with content creating in the fall winter is that it gets so freaking dark. Like it's not very dark here, but I'm gonna show you. I was just filming. I, I'm such a weirdo, honestly. I was just filming in front of the fireplace. Look at the mess that I've made. Did my October favorites like I told you. I had to sit on the pillow. My ass was killing me. I wanted the cute fireplace behind me because it felt very October, you know, with the jack-o'-lanterns and the ghosts. I just, I wanted something fun. I just wanted to mix it up, but now I gotta put all this crap away, which is my least favorite thing to do. Um, oh God. It's so dark in here, which was really why I was saying, like, I just, I'm not ready for this. It's a quarter to six and it's dark. 
Mike's parents are coming here for dinner on Sunday and I totally forgot until he told me that he told them yesterday. So I really need to clean the house because whoa, we were in Napa and this house has been neglected. And my period, freaking surprise, because every time we talk, I feel like I have my period. It's like a never ending, my whole life is a never ending period. It's so terrible. I'm very grateful for my life, but I have my period. So if you get your period, you know what it's like to feel like this. I just feel terrible. I just wanna sit. I gotta get out of this dress. It's a very cute dress. Colors are great with my hair. Can you see the pee pants? Don't look over there. The dog pees all over the floor, but she's doing her best. Although she's also really doing her best at driving me insane because Mike has been gone. He's been golfing for the majority of today. And so I have been on pee pad duty, but this is the dress. I got this from Rent the Runway and I like the colors. It's pretty, it's like black and brown and I like it with my hair. I just don't know. I, I just feel bloated. And I'm also wearing like full underwear. So I don't know, but it's also comfortable at the same time because it's ruched, very stretchy. And I like it with my new handbag. All right, I need to clean the room. I need to get myself situated and I need to figure out what I'm eating for dinner because I don't think Mike's coming home for dinner. I look a little disheveled, but honestly, I feel a little disheveled. I wanted to tell you this before I forget and before the sale stops but the J. Crew shoes that I bought, that I told you I would show you that I never showed you are on sale now. I have not worn these, so I'm returning these. I bought another pair at the sale price because I ended up saving over $100 with the sale. When I first bought them, they were 260 and now they're on sale for like 150 and change. I bought the same exact shoes, so I will show them to you genuinely now. I'm gonna wear them on the carpet because it literally, it comes with a thing that says if you wear them and there are any scuffs on the bottom they will not accept the return but these are them i'm not even gonna i'm struggling guys i'm struggling and i'm tired and i really wanted to vlog i think i just i need to call it and i think i just need to go clean the house tonight i'm gonna do my skincare i just i feel a little scatterbrained i feel like i have period brain they're leather they have leather bottoms. I don't really love a leather bottom, but you know, the bouge of it all. Kitten heel, you guys know, I love a kitten heel. And I like the sling back, but I like the ankle support because it just like really keeps it on your ankle. I was upset that I loved them because that's pricey. They were like almost $270. But now that they're on sale for 150, I feel really good about it. You knew I felt some type of way about it because I am someone where I buy something right away and I wear it, but I just didn't feel happy about the price. So thankfully it has been less than 30 days. I'm gonna return these and then then I will get the new pair. Should I just try these on now? I'll put one on now because I'm realizing as I'm saying this, you might want to buy them while they're on sale. And maybe by the time I get the new ones, you know, they won't be on sale anymore. Do we need a light? Would a light help us? I don't know if that's helping us or hindering us. I think it's helping us. But as I said, I have not worn them. So I don't know, but they feel very comfortable. So excited at the fact that now I got them for so much cheaper. But these just like feel like I'm would be able to wear these for hours and hours and hours. They feel like my Valentino Rockset heels that I've been wearing the crap out of recently. I love them so much. Little bow on top. I love these, so comfortable. A kin heel is so good. I'm excited to get these at $100 cheaper than what I originally bought them for. So this is it. If you want them, they come in an array of colors. I will link them down below. You can hear the dog. I just gave her a bit of rice and she is like, housing it down. And I'm just eating leftovers cause it's just me tonight by myself. Mike is out with the boys, which, you know, I love that for him. I hate that for me. I like to spend time with my husband and I do get sad when I'm not with him. But nonetheless, I made beef stir fry the other night. There is no beef. I ate all the beef. So I'm just eating, I guess, the stir fry. I will link the recipe down below because it is the second time that I made it. It is super quick, not a lot of ingredients. So if any of you are not great cooks like me, or if you don't have time, work full time, don't wanna spend too much time cooking, it is like honestly a foolproof recipe. Also having a glass of wine set in my October favorites. I always end it with what I would like to do more in the following month or less of, you know, just like how I can make the next month better. I said that I want to drink more wine, not a lot of wine, but like at least like two glasses of wine, maybe like on a Friday and a Saturday or like a Saturday and a Sunday. I don't know because weeks go by and I don't drink any wine and I really enjoy wine. Mike and I have such a nice like wine, a little wine collection of fun memories, but tonight I'm drinking Buena Vista. This is the Moon Mountain District 
2021 Cabernet. And I just wanted to mention that. We didn't go to Buena Vista this time because I feel like last time it was a little like meh. And in our last Napa trip, which we just got back a couple weeks ago, we tried all new wineries. So we didn't go back to Buena Vista, but their wine is really good. Mike and I, oh, you would have seen it. But Mike and I went through our new wine that we got in our trip. It got delivered yesterday. We went through it, we sorted it. We put it in this like cute little inventory app in Vin, but it's V-I-N, Tori. Get it? Like wine, it's like a wine inventory app. He invited me, finally. He was like giving me crap about the fact that he invited me so long ago and I never joined the list. He spelled my name wrong. He spelled his own damn wife's name wrong. So I never got the invite, but I'm in. I'm sitting here, I'm eating, I am editing my Sephora VIB sale video, which I just feel like my whole life has been consumed by editing. Like, do I need an editor? I'm not sure, but I enjoy editing my videos. I would like someone to do like the first take of the editing and then for me to go through it and like fine tune it the way that I want it. Cause I just find like the initial editing is so tedious and takes so long. And also do here, there's like something going on outside. It is so loud where I live. I just, I wanna live in this countryside, wherever the hell this is. I look at that and I'm just like, oh, peace, tranquility, serenity. And it's just so nice. And then here, I just have people living on top of me and I just wanna get away from them. I really miss Napa already and in my brain I'm planning another trip but in the meantime Halloween will have already happened I think like yesterday but it is still Halloween weekend we celebrate Halloween the weekend before and the weekend after look at these napkins look at these napkins that I got at ShopRite look at this little ghost oh my god like what is going on and this up the street that drives his motorcycle up and down the street at like 1 a.m. coffee is so terrible. Mike went to the gym and forgot to make me coffee this morning, which is okay. It's his weekend too. He makes me coffee every day. But every time I make my coffee, it tastes like dirt or tastes like water. And today it tastes like water. 
like milky water. I wanted to show you my skin because last night, I'm sorry, I needed to, to just turn the camera off and be in my grumpiness, nastiness, crampiness, all of the above. But I did film my little application of the mask that I did last night. It's called a jelly mask, but really it's like a last step in your skincare routine. It's by Medicube. I'm gonna talk to you guys about it upstairs because I wanna like get settled and do my new face. But I was just like looking at my skin in the monitor when I was sipping my water coffee. And look at how like smooth my skin looks. And if you could feel it, it feels so smooth and soft, which is so crazy because when you put the mask on, it feels like sticky and jello-y. It's like cooling and it feels nice, but it does that thing where when I lay down, I like to sleep on my sides as much as I try to sleep on my back. So I felt like I couldn't really move because I didn't want my pillow to stick to my face. So that part I don't really like. I'm just being transparent and honest, but I love, I'm gonna use it because look at my skin. This is how my skin looks after I get a hydrofacial. Smooth, bright, and I don't know if you can see, but it's just like, like look at it gleaming. Oh my God, guys. I'm so excited. I want to just talk about skincare a little bit in this video because I feel like my new face videos have been getting a lot of traction here on YouTube. And I keep getting a lot of questions if I'm still using my new face device, which yes, I'm still using my new face device. I am not that great at it, like with cons the consistency. I'm doing it once, maybe twice a week. I usually do it the days that I work from home. So like Wednesday, Friday, but I did it on Wednesday. I feel like doing it today, especially because like my skin looks so good. It's like motivated me to just, oh my God. Like what, where did my lines go? I mean, they're still there if you really look, but whoa. Whoa, my face looks so bright and so tight. Oh my God, I love it. Let's go talk about the mask so I can show it to you. And we'll go do our new face. It's just not it. This coffee ain't it. I have all the products that Medicube sent to me. Now, this is not sponsored, but I am going to leave every product that I mentioned that I love down below in my Amazon storefront. So Medicube reached out to me a couple weeks ago and asked me if I would be interested in trying some of their best-selling products. I get a lot, well, not a lot. I don't wanna sound like that. I get a decent amount of emails of people asking me to try their skincare. I'm 33, I have dry skin, very sensitive skin. Reacts, whether they're scent, whether there's something in the ingredient list or whether there's just like too much product on my face. I have super sensitive skin. Nine out of 10 times, I say no to skincare brands. However, we all know I love Tati Westbrook. I've been watching her videos for like a decade and she works with Medicube and her skin looks amazing all the time. And she rants and raves about products and she is an influencer or content creator that I genuinely trust. So when Medicube reached out to me, I had a Tati Westbrook moment and I was just like, Yes, I'm not being paid to talk about the products, but oh my God. Now, skincare takes about 30 days to truly see results, but you know, I will mention these in my upcoming November favorites because I do plan to use these on a consistent basis so we can both see if these products are as good as I think that they are, but this is all Korean beauty. So far, I mean, like I know I said 30 days, but my God, like an instant, look at my skin. It's glowing. So last night, I love the packaging. I love that it's pink. I used the Medicube Collagen Jelly Cream. It looks like this. The packaging is so cute. It weighs nothing. It weighs absolutely nothing. So I washed my face, double cleansed. I did my serum, my eye cream, my moisturizer, and then I just use this to like lock everything in. It comes with a little scooper. I'm gonna be honest, nice, but I never use these. Maybe I will with this because it is a thicker consistency. Oh my God. And it is like jelly and when you put it on your face, it is bright pink. It's so pretty and it's so satisfying and it's so girly and I love really girly things. It wasn't like too, too sticky when applying it to my face. I didn't feel it like tugging at my skin, but it did feel sticky while it was drying down. After a little bit, it did dry down. I'm not sticky at all and I just like my skin never looks this glowy and this smooth. When I'm filming this video, Medicube is having a sale. This is originally $17. Right now it's on sale for $11.90. So this has a lot of niacinamide, it has collagen, so it's anti-aging, it helps with dryness, fine lines, wrinkles, loss of firmness, silicone free, there's no artificial colors, it comes in sustainable packaging and there's no sense. It doesn't smell like anything, which I love. When you put it on, it had a very like cooling, not, not like burning, but like tingling 
burning sensation. All the products have crazy good reviews. Vitamin B3, it is freeze dried collagen, which I've never heard of, but it's also known as collagen peptides. If you know, you know, I drink collagen peptides every morning in my coffee. I put them in my coffee this morning. Collagen that's been broken down into smaller segments, allowing for better absorption and penetration into the skin. My skin right now feels tighter. It looks smoother. I feel like you're gonna think that I'm saying all this because I'm working with MediQ, but again, I'm not making any money unless I get like, I think I need to get like a ton of views, which I, I don't get that many views here on my channel. But as my friends, <laughs> I feel like you just need to know that I really love this. Again, I'm gonna continue to use it. I will let you know. And then tonight I wanna try this one with you guys. This one has gone like viral. This is the Collagen Night Wrapping Mask. Niacinamide, ceramides, collagen to help smooth and soften and moisturize the skin. It's so loud down there. But this is one where I don't know, like I don't like peely masks, but we'll see if I like this one together. I sent me this little applicator, which you guys know I love my skincare brush. I have this one from EOS that I use with my new vase, but they sent me this jelly spongy silicone one, which I love, I'm so excited. So we're gonna try this. Basically you put this on, you let this dry down, and then in the morning, oh, let me just like look at this packaging. So like millennial pink, I love it. You let it dry down and then you peel it off of your face like you would a peely mask. Or I mean, you can rinse it off with warm water or whatever you want, but for the sake of the fun of this, we're gonna peel it off in the morning. So we're gonna try this tonight. They also sent me this pink peptide serum, which is supposed to help with dark spots, firmness, everything basically on their website helps with firmness. I'm not well versed in Korean beauty, but I mean, like I said, I went online, I looked at all of their products and everything has crazy reviews. Like people are like, this is the best skincare I've ever tried. So I'm very hyped. I want to do my new face. I'm going to rinse my face off. I'm gonna tighten it with my new face even further than it already is tightened. And then we will throw this on as our serum for the day. Even the serum is pink. Apply appropriate amount gently along the skin after washing your face and pat lightly for absorption. Oh my God, I don't wanna waste any, but I wanna just feel it. My skin on my face is definitely more sensitive than anywhere else on my body, but I do like to spot treat on the back of my hand. If it's bad and it's gonna irritate my skin, I'll get little bumpies or I'll get a little rash on my hand, but wow, that is very moisturizing in two seconds. Look at that shine. Don't look at my veins though. Whoa, my veins are veining. That feels nice, but I like to put things on the back of my hand. This way, if my hand reacts, I know, like, don't you dare put this on your face. I want Mike to try these because Mike loves a pore pad. And I don't really use a pore pad, but I feel like he would be a good indicator as to how, how we should all feel about this. So I'm gonna ask him to try this. And then I have PDRN collagen face mask. I was reading about these when I received them. You leave this mask on for an hour to three hours. This weekend I have too much to do, but we're gonna do this in an upcoming vlog. Is there anything you'd like to say about my face? It's beautiful. Aside from that, it doesn't look any different. Like when the light hits it, it doesn't look like shiny. Smooth. Does it look like that? It looks like I put a coat of wax on my face. Is that what you want me to say? No. I want you to say whatever it is you think. Do you see that? Ooh, ah, ooh. You don't see anything? I mean... You don't look at me enough? I don't feel like that's factual. Look at my forehead. You it's shiny. That's what I said. Is it shiny? Put a coat of wax is, is it shiny anywhere else aside from my forehead? Everywhere. It's shiny everywhere? Yeah. Does it look like glass? I like glass it looks skin. Like skin. But like looks glowing like skin? Shiny skin. Shiny skin. You don't like shiny skin? Whoa, look at that. Yeah. Look at that. I mean, I don't know. Oh, I like it. I mean, I'm gonna fry some eggs. You want me to use your forehead? Sure. I have something for you. This skincare brand sent me a bunch of skincare and yeah. they sent me this huge thing of like pore pads and it's like bougie looking. And I don't use pore pads, so. Pore pads? Yeah, like pimple pads. You know how oh, you use those God. pads all over your face? Which I don't know why you don't even have pimples, but you should try it and you should let us know how it is because I have nothing to compare it to because I don't use pore pads. So maybe you can do the due diligence on that product while I do the due diligence on the waxed face products. So you want me to, want you to review the pore pads? Yeah. And when are you going to review the rich pads? 
No. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's so noisy here, but like we're living our lives and I just, I can't. It's Saturday, we gotta get things done. I rinsed that mask off. My skin is still, not as jelly-ish, but still, whoa. It's still so soft and it rinsed right off. I wanted to talk about this really quickly just because so many of you have been messaging me, commenting on my videos, asking me if I still use this. I stopped showing you guys that I use this because I didn't want to like bombard you with this, but I still use this on a weekly basis. I love this, I adore this. I notice such a difference in my skin when I don't use this. This is the Aqua Gel. It has a little lightning bolt on the top. I don't know if you could see that, but it is because this gel helps to take the microcurrent in this to help tighten my face. I did not know that there's this whole thing on Reddit where people are saying that this dissolves fat in their face and people are freaking out. I have been using this for a long time. If you look at videos of me from six years ago, my face was definitely plumper, but I think that's just from aging. I really don't think that the new face has suctioned or dissolved fat out of my face. If anything, it just really helps to depuff and tighten my skin. A few of you have mentioned that this feels like a waste of money. My question is, do you go slow? So make sure that you're using it slow and steady for one beep and then you do that same place again. You could do it as many times as you want. I think a good rule of thumb is like three to six depending upon how much time you have, but go slow. I gotta let Brogan out. Yeah, I know. You don't want to be in here anymore. Are you using the activator gel? Because I was using the Peter Thomas Roth cucumber face mask and it still did a good job, but I noticed the biggest results when I used the actual activator gel. I will also link a video down below, new faces tutorial on how they suggest using their new face. I just want to be sure that we're all using it correctly because if we're not using it correctly, then it would be a waste of money. But if you're using it correctly and you're still not noticing any results, they're subtle. It's not like crazy results, but you can still notice them. Maybe reach out to the company and see if you have a defective device. Also, you wanna do this on clean skin. So I wash my face with cold water every morning when I wake up just to take off my nighttime skincare because if you use oils or you know heavy duty actives, the microcurrent in this won't be able to penetrate your skin. I do movements, I do holds. But again, you guys have seen all of this. So this is just me reiterating. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I hope that this doesn't deter you from asking me questions and things. Also, a lot of you have brought to my attention that there are a lot of other microcurrent devices out there now. I've had this microcurrent device for a few years, so the technology might be better, not only within New Face, but also like with other devices. A couple of you have mentioned that you use the device bare. I know that Foreo came out with a microcurrent device. So do your research, figure out what's best for you. I got this for Christmas quite a few years ago at this point. I love it. I don't work with New Face when I say this, but I am an advocate for New Face. This device has lasted me such a long time. I've definitely gotten my money's worth and it makes my makeup go on so much smoother. But if you feel otherwise, like girl, sound off, let me know down below in the comments. Like I listen to you guys, I read your comments, I answer all of you. I am mentioning this today because I noticed an influx of people asking me again if I'm still using this, which I am. So I'm gonna do one side of my face. I'm not gonna look like I went back in time 20 years, but I will look like I got a really good night's sleep and I didn't eat as salty food because it just, it helps with water retention and puffiness. Like it just makes everything look more sculpted and less puffy. And when this is less puffy, this is less noticeable. I hope that that makes sense. I did this half of my face. Can you tell the difference that this is just a little bit more lifted? Like, can you see the shadow is a little less here than it is over here? Just like, I just feel like this whole side and I wanna make sure that the lighting doesn't play tricks on us, but can you see that this is just a little bit lifted? It is so subtle. Can you see the difference? Because I can see the difference, but I also stare at my face all the time. So I don't know. Can we see? It's so subtle, but it's just like plumper. And then if I smile, look at that cheek. As opposed to this cheek, it's like flat. Do you see that? Look, do one half of your face, see if you can see a difference, smile. Like this just, it's so, like look how deep this is as opposed to this. And look how plump this is 
as opposed to this. I look crazy, but it makes such a, in my, it's like subtle, but it makes a difference. Let me know down below, did any of this help? I would love to hear. I'm a sweaty bitch from that workout and I am rosy, but my God, I'll stop pointing out my skin, but my skin is so glowy. Oh, I'm so excited about this jelly cream. Oh my God. And I'm not, I'm really, I'm genuinely being genuine and not just like saying that because my skin looks so hydrated and smooth. Granted, like the new face definitely helped with the smoothing, but this, the combo of the two mm, might be unstoppable. I'm going to show you one last time. Workout complete. I'm going to shower now and get ready for this beautiful Saturday morning. It's so nice out. Oh my God. I wanted to throw this on my very clean skin. So this is the first thing I'm going to put on my skin. Again, this is supposed to help with dark spots, texture, discoloration. This is the Medicude, Medicude, Medicube. <laughs> PDRN pink peptide serum. It has five types of peptide complex. I am in a towel. Okay. I'm not naked. I promise. I love that it's pink. It's very runny. So I feel like it's going to glide across the skin. And they said, well, Medicube, when I say that, to tap it into the skin for maximum absorption doesn't smell like anything. It feels really thin. I love a thin serum because like I said, with my sensitive skin, if things are too thick, it irritates my skin. Almost where like my skin can't breathe. It feels very refreshing. Like it's not minty, but it feels really hydrating. So nice. It feels very like glidey. This is, and it leaves like, I mean, my skin was glowing before. So who's to say that this is the glow from the serum, but so far I like it. I'm gonna add a little bit. Oh to my neck and I'm not gonna pat it. This is how I would use it on a morning when I'm rushing and quite honestly, I'm rushing right now. I'm gonna go ahead, get dressed, put a bit of makeup on and I will obviously let you know how my moisturizer, my sunscreen, my makeup, how everything lays on top of this. I just wanna make sure nothing pills, nothing tugs and it doesn't feel too heavy with everything else on top. I realize I forgot to tell you that my makeup went on so good today. I look very tired, I don't know. I think it's cause I had my period, we know, but Despite me looking tired, my skin, she's skinning. I gave Mike the zero pore pads. He said he really likes the packaging. He tried them. Look, they even come with little grippy grips so that you can take the lid off. So it's not like, you know, you're getting your fingers in there. Very bouge. He liked it. He told me that the pores were more gentle. The pores, the pads were more gentle than his other acne pads. I will obviously have him keep us posted, but it's time to get ready to go to bed. We went shopping today. Mike and I went to Montclair. We had lunch at this new place, Bouchon, but why do I feel like that's French and that's not the name? It was super cute. We got the meatballs, the meatballs were okay. The sandwiches were definitely better. Very cute vibe, BYO. After lunch, we went to the center of Montclair. We walked up and down Church Street and it's just, I haven't been there in so long. I had such a nice time. Went into like all the old stores that I've been to so many times, especially with my aunt. We went to Java Love to get coffee. My matcha was terrible, but whatever. And then somehow, I don't ask me how, I have no idea how happen. We ended up going to the Short Hills Mall. But tonight, I'm tired. The Yankees right now are getting destroyed by the Dodgers. I'm not the biggest baseball fan, but as a wife, I think by default, it's important to my husband, but men and sports, I personally will never understand it. I'm going to wash this off. And then we will do this little jelly mask over top of all of my skincare together. You know, I've somewhat changed my mind about this Eve Lom, Eve Lom. How do you say it? I think it's Eve Lom. It's a little overly scented. Yes, it bothers me. Honestly, I get motion sickness from taking mass transit. Sometimes the scent of this makes me a little nauseous. What I'm doing differently now is I'm just rubbing it in on dry skin and then I add a little bit of water and then I rub that more on my face. seeing the makeup come off my face. It's so satisfying. And if you say it's not, you're lying. I'm 
just using the Caudalie Resveratrol Lift. I've been using this like every night. I don't know. Maybe I should cut back a little bit, but for now, I've just like really been enjoying it. And around my mouth, I am like, I don't even know if you could see how little I have in here. It's like literally to here. I've gone through this whole thing. It took me quite a long time to go through this though, but just for some hydration around my mouth. I put a little bit of the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. I'm running out of face cream. I gotta see if I have another one. I thought I bought a drugstore one. Let me see if it's in my skincare closet. I found it. Eucerin Q10 Anti-Wrinkle Face Cream. Moisturizes for softer, smoother looking skin. I normally would not try a new skincare product with another new skincare product because we are using this, but I literally ran out. I, there, I have none left. There's not. Reduces the look of fine lines and wrinkles in as little as five weeks. Firms and moisturizes for softer, smoothing skin. Can be used alone or under makeup. You're getting a lot of skincare in this video, so I hope that you are interested. I bought this on Amazon. Again, I will link this down below. Yeah, this is thick, but it feels nice. Definitely thicker, not scented. Ooh, that looks nice. All right, let's give this a shot, guys. We got nothing to lose. I like Eucerin. Eucerin has gentle products. So far, I like this. I will keep you posted with all of the skincare. Come back, subscribe, click the bell. This way you get a notification. For eye cream, I've been using the Dragon's Blood by Rodiel. I don't know, it just feels very gentle and I like gentle around my eyes because my skin is so sensitive. This is again the Medicube Collagen Night Wrapping Mask. Love the packaging, love the squeezy. Apply it evenly over the face as the last step of skincare while avoiding eyes and lips. Wait 15 minutes for product to be dried and go to bed. Never use your teeth to open things, but it's just so hard I can't get a good grip on it. So use a tweezer. <laughs> I'm gonna, oh, it said to keep it away from the mouth. So I'm definitely gonna keep it away from the mouth because that's where I have troubles. Oh, this is nice with the brush. It puts it on in like 0.2 seconds and I feel like it also adds the most perfect layer. I might have to use this brush with the other jelly product that I used last night for Medicube. I'm excited to take this off tomorrow. Two new products tonight. We will touch base in the morning to see how it all went. Good morning. Can you see? It's like started peeling already. Thankfully Mike didn't notice. I don't know, he didn't look at me this morning. I thought he was gonna tell me I had like snot dried up on my face, which is disgusting. But oh my God, look, look. I don't know, in my head, I feel like this kind of prevents me from moving my face even more, which is good when it comes to wrinkles. Like the less you move your face and the less expressive you are, the better because it doesn't ingrain those wrinkles into your face. So I just, like I can move my face, but it feels tight, but like in a good way, not like tight in a drying way, but I'm excited to take this off. Let me show you by the window. I have like glass skin. It's wild. I don't think I did a great job of applying it. I will definitely get the hang of it. It comes in due time, but let's take this off together because I feel like this is gonna be really satisfying. I don't know if I applied enough to rip this off. Like, is it supposed to be a fluid rip or is it like piece by piece rip? But I know myself and I will never give myself enough time in the morning to do this aside from on the weekend. Oh, that's really satisfying. Oh yeah, that's nice. Maybe I did put enough on. Oh my God. I like this, but I know me and during the week, I'm not gonna give myself enough time to do this in the morning. I'll just rinse it off instead of sitting here and peeling my mask off. You've all seen me, I never give myself enough time. I'm sorry if I just, I can't get my words out this weekend. I like have serious period brain. Oh my God, I mean, my skin looks great, guys. I put a bunch of products in my Sephora cart for the Sephora VIB sale, but this is definitely going to help dwindle down what I buy because, whoa. Oh my God, I love this. I 
and then last night when I applied this, I did wait about a half an hour to go to bed. It does dry down for sure, but until it dries down, it's definitely sticky. Can you see? Like my skin never has glow to it. Unless of course I just got a facial or it's the summer and it's a little bit more humid, but like in October, November, December, January, February, March, even April, like my skin usually looks really dull, but this is really nice. So I'm very excited. I can't wait to try some more. Let me show you by the light. Just like, look at this. And I peeled the mask off of this side really well, but look, look, look. This side, I didn't take it off here. I can still feel it, but I can't like lift it up. I'm impressed, very impressed. Oh, we're supposed to film our wine tasting today, but my God, it is absolutely freezing outside. I just, I don't know. It's supposed to be a little warmer next weekend. I'm wondering if we can hold off to next weekend. I also feel like there's so much in this vlog. I'm just throwing this on again. I'm really enjoying these skincare products. I just, I can't tell you the last time a brand has sent me products and I loved every single one. Brands will send me things and I will respond back and tell them my honest review. Like, hey, I have very dry, sensitive skin. This doesn't work for me. Do you want me to send the product back? I will never forget. I tried this brand. It was a plumping lip gloss. I forgot the name of the brand. Probably shouldn't <clears throat> mention the brand, but they sent me their plumping lip gloss and I. they sent me like six different shades. I tried the clear just to try it and oh my God, my lips did not react well. I emailed the brand and was like, hey, you know, thank you so much for the opportunity to work together. I tried the one lip gloss. I'm happy to send the rest back. They're not used. I don't feel comfortable talking about this product because I, I don't lie. Like if I don't like something, I would never tell you guys to use it because then you would never, like if you tried it and I said it was the best thing ever, you would never trust me again. And I'm just, I'm not a liar. I have a lot of dignity. I'm a very loyal person too. So I'm not gonna lie to my friends that come here and spend time with me on a weekly basis. But nonetheless, so I just can't tell you the last time I tried a brand and have loved every single product that I've tried. I just feel like these are so good for sensitive skin, so good for dry skin. It does say that it's good for dry skin, combo skin, normal skin, oily skin, all the skins. I just, I'm really loving it because I have very dry skin and my skin reacts in 2.2 seconds. But I'm gonna go put the rest of my skincare on, do my makeup, and then figure out if we're gonna do the wine tasting. Hello from future editing fortune. I'm gonna cut the vlog here just because I feel like there's so much in this one. Mike and I filmed our wine tasting. I'm definitely gonna share it with you guys. So make sure you're subscribed and click the bell. That will either be my next video or the video after, but if you're subscribed, then you will get a little notification. And yeah, I just wanna say, as always, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I have continued to use my Medicube products, also the Eucerin Nighttime Skin, and whoa, my skin is so, it's so bright. I did just wake up, so I do look a little tired and a little puffy, but nothing that my new face will not solve. So let me know down below. Again, if you guys have any questions, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I really, really hope to see you in my next one. Bye, guys.